Welcome to Water Wisdom, sponsored by WaterFilters.net. I'm your host, Aquaman, and today I have a special guest from Better Water Industries. This is Troy Tomarasen. Troy, thanks for being with us today. No problem. Thank you. WaterFilters.net is going to be selling a couple of new products, and they are a bag chlorine. Uh, that's this stuff here, and that's available in a .79 gram or a 1 gram pellet. And then we'll also be selling the Well Safe Well Sanitizer Pack, which combines a granular chlorine and chlorine tablets uh, in, a, uh, in a set in this box. Troy, thanks for being with us today. Tell me something. As a well owner, why do I need to chlorinate? What's the big deal? Chlorination is a big deal for the simple fact. You're dealing with Mother Nature's filtration system, and that is your surface. Filters down, you have contaminants, you have your iron, you have bacteria. Those are all concerns in your drinking water that you should address. As a well owner, you are the manager of your own municipality. You need to take ownership of that and uh, get it treated, have it tested. Okay, makes perfect sense. So what are some examples of things that might get into my well that I absolutely need to care for with chlorine? Bacteria is the biggest. Um, you're going to want to address uh, if you're selling a home, you're buying a home, you should ask if that well, if they have a well, is tested. And if it has been tested for bacteria, coliform bacteria, things of that nature, has it been addressed, has it been taken care of, and uh, need to have it shock treated immediately. Shock treated. Now when you say shock treatment, that's a heavy dose of chlorine that I'm only going to do periodically. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Correct. A well should be shock treated once or twice a year. The reason being is if you have a new pump put in or a new water softener, anytime you introduce your water system to air, you're introducing potential bacterial concerns. So anytime those are done or maintenance is done, it should be shock treated. If not as preventative, but as also for maintenance. So anytime I open up my water system, if I put in a new water softener, I've opened up my water lines to potential contamination. Correct. If uh, something went wrong with the well and I had the well guy come in and he did some maintenance to the well, these are times when I absolutely need to shock treat. Absolutely. And if I don't, I'm putting myself or my family in harm's way because I could be dealing with real bad contaminants. Correct. You have the potential to have issues and health issues. Yeah something I want to avoid. And, and the kinds of things that are going to make me really sick are going to be coliform bacteria, giardia. These are things that chlorine is going to kill, right? Correct, yes. And that definitely could exist in an untreated water source. Now, uh, I didn't ask you about this in our meeting earlier today, but um, can this kind of thing be used in uh, cisterns or people who are collecting rainwater applications like that? That's untreated water. Perfect application. Cisterns are a big deal. Um, those are easy to be shy to, but just as well as an easy uh, for the well. Uh, any holding facility that is outside, that um, is closed in, that has algae, things of that nature, anything, uh, whether it be a farm tank, they all can be shy treated. Anything that houses water. Anything that's an untreated water source. Right. So what are some other things that chlorine is going to help out with? Like, what if I have an iron problem or what if I've got a stinky rotten egg smell caused by hydrogen sulfide or um, other things? Are, is chlorine going to help with that? It can. First thing you want to do is get a refined water test. You're going to want to go to a local professional uh, and say, hey, I'm having these issues. I need to have a water test done. At that point in time, we can decipher pH, what we're dealing with for part per millions of H2S or iron. Once that's done, we might be able to take care of it with a shock treatment right away but we may also be looking forward uh, to uh, potential long-term chlorine usage. Okay, and let me just say for those of you watching that waterfilters.net does sell a very high level test provided by the National Testing Laboratory. Uh, we've got three different levels, a 99 contaminant, I think the next one's maybe 120 contaminants. Don't, don't take these numbers to heart. Anyway, there's three different levels and you can get just about anything in the world that could possibly be in your water. You can get it tested for and we sell those kits on our website. So check that out on our testing kits section at waterfilters.net. Um, there's one other thing that I want to hit on with you, Troy, and that, or, yeah, and that is um, that these products from Better Water Industries, these are certified products. 
Why should I care? What, what difference does it make? You're drinking this water. You want certified product. What our certifications are, it's NSF approved, it is EPA registered, it is also USDA food grade safe sanitizer. Your liquid bleach that you might be, may be buying off the shelf is not certified. HDH or pool chlorine is also not certified for drinking water. These products are. So you just mentioned two things there. You mentioned the chlorine I can buy at the grocery store. Why shouldn't I just buy that and pour it down the well? You have a 70% available chlorine in these products. Something off the shelf such as that, this liquid form, you're talking anywhere from 10 to less percentage. Um, the other thing is that that's only doing a top sanitation. This particular product will do top and bottom sanitation. You're referring to the depth of the well. The casing itself. If I pour liquid chlorine in, it's going to disperse, and by the time it gets to the bottom, if it gets to the bottom, Correct. it's going to be really diluted and not do a thorough job. That's why this is, has the granulars that will be on top, and then also your pellets, so you get the top and bottom. And so that's what you're talking about with this well safe well sanitizer pack. We've got granules, and then we've got pellets, and I'm going to use those in combination the pellets are going to drop to the bottom immediately and the granules are going to start out at the top and dissolve and the two are kind of going to meet in the middle and, dis and uh, decontaminate the entire well. It is correct. Now what about HTH or pool chlorine? Why won't that work? There's something about it not dissolving. There's additives and uh, other things that are in there. Um, not to scare anybody, but it does not dissolve. You know, in a pool scenario, it needs continuous flow of water. Well, that has that in a pool environment. In a well that say is 400, 500 feet deep, there's no water movement down there. They're not going to dissolve at all. So pool chlorine requires water movement to dissolve. It needs to be eroded. You're not going to get that in a well, and that's why, even though that's a lot less expensive or significantly less expensive, you mentioned. Right. I haven't priced these things out, but apparently it's a lot less expensive. It's the wrong thing to do because you're not going to get the decontamination that you want from uh, your product. This particular well safe product will shock treat a well one to four times. So the value you're getting is well worth it. Awesome. And then these pellets, these are for folks who are using this uh, pellet chlorinator mechanism. And these are all over the nation. A lot of people own these. Better Water Industries has been selling these and, and installing them professionally for 30 years. And people who own this can buy the appropriate pellets for their system. And it's not just this particular product. It's whether you have an erosion chlorinator, um, inline chlorinator. Uh, there's other chlorinators on the market. These pellets are adapted. So these pellets are going to work in other brands, other types of systems. Our particular unit takes a one gram pellet. Okay, I see. But there are other systems out there made by other companies that will use these, either the .79s or the one gram pellets. Correct. Awesome. Can you think of anything we haven't touched on? I think we're good. Troy, thanks for being with us on Water Wisdom. I'm your host, Aquaman. Keep watching our videos. We're posting them all the time. See ya.